Hello, today we are going to talk about the SPI connection between two ESP32s. In this video we will uh, write a code to the master ESP32 in ESP IDF environment and to the slave ESP32 in ESP IDF environment and send only one character A from master to the slave. This is our purpose. As always, a, the expressive documentation is pretty vast regarding the SPI and we talked about it uh, in the previous video shortly. I personally have some difficulty to understand it from the reading from uh, this documentation. Uh, what we done in this video is uh, took the ESP32 tutorials and here I will not go over this tutorial but this is a pretty good tutorial with an example of master and slave uh, communication. What we basically did is uh, is uh, took those two examples and simplify them as much as we could. We put it inside the GitHub repository inside Free Artos IDF ES ES ESP, and here you can see you have you have the previous file from the three previous videos for which uh, uh, analyze the connection via SPI from ESP32 to the scope and in this video we have two files which explain the connection between ESP32 to ESP32 the first one is called master output and the second called the slave input they are here okay those files are pretty short you can see because they are ver they was simplified uh, significantly and slave okay here we copied those two files to the editor here we co called it here the in proj 5 the master and in proj 6 the slave and uh, before we are going inside the code i want to talk a little bit about the connection we are using hspi and generally like in the previous video we have two options to use spi in esp32 for external communication which is vspi and hspi those are basically the same and uh, the difference between is between them is very very small in this video we use th the hspi with appropriate pin numbers here and the connection between between them was like this uh, we connected uh, gpio number 15 clock and uh, master output slave in in uh, in pin number 13 master input slave output in pin number 12 tw 12 and uh, the chip select in pin number 14 also the ground and the 3 volt uh, were connected now in order to after the completion of those connection in the hardware we can go to the code here and first we will connect uh, our USB to the master okay I connected it to the master now okay it's not connected sorry okay now it's connected let's try again okay now we are writing this code master which in my case called proj5 inside the master ESP32 and as you can see here every second he sends an A character let's stop it 
how does it do it? Here you have the includes, don't uh, mind the red lines because I defined the project number 6 and this here I just open the file to, to show you it. Um, here the pin, pins defined, those are the number of pins that we talked earlier regarding our uh, hardware connection. Here inside the main loop we define the handle define the bus configuration where we connect between the bus and the number of pins which are actually connected, those pins. Uh, SPI device interface configuration uh, for the SPI communication we are uh, uh, working on 5 megabits and uh, let's see what it is else is interesting here, yeah the pin select is here, which is it is very important, you see. We defined it here, number 14. Uh, okay. Then we define the variables that we want to send. In our case, it's send buff, send buffer. And then we define the, the variable for tran um, transaction, which we call T. In this variable, this is an actual variable that is sent via SPI and carries re relevant data and uh, that we want to send. We allocate some memory for it, add communicate H HP HSPI, as we talked previously, to the different uh, initiation parameters here, to the bus config and to the, the dev um, uh, device interface and to the handle. After SPI initiation we are starting to write it master out, master out and then we, we are writing character, num character A inside the send buff variable put the send buff variable inside text buffer inside T this is the T, this is the actual uh, variable that can be transmitted via SPI and we put the data TX data, data for tra uh, uh, trans tra transaction to this variable and then we actually transmit it here we transmit T with the appropriate handle then every second we write the variable that we have transmitted okay now I will disconnect the ESP uh, the uh, master ESP and now I connected the slave ESP let's change the directory and try to flush it Uh, please note that the electricity is supplied via USB to both uh, controllers uh, because the 3 volt is connected between all of them. You see, we every second receiving the A character that we have sent. Let's go over the code. The appropriate, uh, appropriate uh, includes. Here we have the same uh, pin definition, this is the advantage of using MOSI and MISO abbreviation because those abbreviations are the same for the master and for the slave in different SPI approaches sometimes those abbreviations are changed but here we use those abbreviations and in order to read the data we define, define the bus configuration with appropriate pins like in master we define the slave interface with the chip select number initialize it in H HSPI mode uh, in this case we define the receive variable take the memory for receive variable and the define the transaction uh, variable in order to receive inside T the appropriate data now we have the slave output here the slave output for appropriate T lengths we read read the data that we have received 
and uh, by the uh, command SPI slave transmit, we only reading the T variable with uh, HSPI uh, uh, variation. And every, every time we have done it, we print it on the screen. You see, we don't have a delay of one second here because we have the trans transmission only one second each time. So this delay is um, achieved uh, by the master. Here we read as much as we can. And when we got it, which is in every second, we print it on the screen. That's all. Here we shown the connection between two ESP32s in ESP IDF environment uh, from, with master and slave configuration. Thank you.